What is up, Monsters? World Monsters here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're hopping back into Scars Above. Okay. So, your, your lab looks exactly like the one place so that we were just this in. This is where you worked? Genetic data processing. Here, my team and I analyze the results from the experiment. We tried to assemble the pieces of the code and unlock its secret. This is what I wanted to show you. What is, what is this? This is the Matrix from which the Custodian was born. He is a machine. And you created him. We weren't making any progress with the code. We were limited by our own capabilities. The data patterns required simultaneous analysis in a near limitless number of dimensions. And the mutations needed to be synchronized accordingly. So you made a machine to run the experiment and put it in control? But the custodian is more than a machine. He is an artificial intelligence made out of the connectomes of our own minds. In other words, you gave him all the brains and no heart. Heart? He doesn't need a heart. He runs on meta-quantum energy. I meant you didn't give him empathy. No. So, how do we destroy him? With this. This place can recompile his matrix into a seed that contains opposite subroutines. Planted in his neural core, it would grow and nullify his systems. It would effectively erase his mind. I am activating the recompile sequence. It will take some time, but once it's done, we should have the seed that can destroy the custodian. And how do we get to his neural core? I will explain everything along the way, but we must hurry. Please return to the monolith. When we built the custodian, we started with the most powerful system we had available, which was the core of our vessel. We essentially built him around our vessel's systems. The Metahedron. The Custodian has raised a mm. meta-network barrier, preventing monolith access to the vessel. Now, he receives data through several upload nodes on the planet. I think I can break through the barrier's encryption by sending my signal through these nodes. The monolith will get us close to the nodes. Kate? Where are you? What the hell were you thinking, sneaking off like that? I have to stop the custodian, Tam. If I don't, we're not getting through this. We have to stop him. We're a team. We are a team, but if you die, you will be gone permanently. I'm not losing you. Or Mike. We don't know anything about this technology, Kate. How many times it can bring you back, or the effects of the reconstruction on your body and mind? That's a risk I have to take. How is Mike? The cellular reconstruction is complete, but he's still unconscious. I hope he wakes soon. Kate, just try not to die. Not much, at least. <laughs> I'll do my best. Yeah, because I'm probably gonna die. Alright. I don't know what's gonna be there, but just in case. I don't really know what's gonna be there.
should go back to the monolith and choose the next location. Look for the second node. Breaking the encryption. Stand by. I am your only way home. Something is wrong. Reinforcing barrier encryption. He is resisting. I will need more time. Releasing specimen. Just one more note. Back to the monolith. Nice. I'm in. <gasps> now for the upload note. Okay. Let's Final go. one. Give me a moment. I am the only one who can get you home. Without me, you will never go back. Done. The barrier is down. We should be able to access the vessel now. We should head back to my facility. The recompilation of the Matrix should be done by now, and the seat should be ready. The seat should be ready. Gotcha. Boy, am I ready to see this game finished. Because we got a lot to talk about. The seat is ready, and the barrier is down. Take it. One final thing remains. You need the master access to activate the monolith connection to the vessel. Am I gonna get that from you? Ooh. Ooh. This Connect is like a hefty transfer boy. complete. The entity is ready. I will store her essence in the nanomachines, the same ones the custodian is using to induce mutations. However, these will not mutate the host. Instead, they will graft my connectome onto their genetic structure. The entity will carry my thoughts and access privileges, thus making them available to the human. I am also using the nanomachines to grant the human a special status. The system will see them as a control variable, preventing mutation, permanent injury, and even death. I, uh, I just hope it is enough. These people do not deserve our fate. Ah, uh, okay. So then, the only thing I do not understand is why me? You know? That's the only thing I don't understand is why... Why choose my character out of any of the characters that they could have chosen on that ship? Why mine? Did, like, is my character special in some way, or...? This is... you. In a way. Her name was Naya. She was a scientist, and one of the Custodian's creators. She always looked at the universe with eyes wide open. But her hunger for knowledge, her desire to unlock the code made her blind. And for that, she and those around her paid the ultimate price. Before her demise, she realized that the custodian would not stop with her people. She learned of his plans to reach across the stars and find new species, new specimens to experiment on. Her own kind was responsible for their fate.
but not these people. Naya couldn't bear the guilt for them as well. So she created another entity, similar to the Custodian, but smaller in scope. Made out of just one connectome, her own. She gave the entity her mind, but also her heart, as you would say. The purpose of this entity would not be to find the code of life, but rather to aid life. To aid you, Kate. She created me. Naya made me in her image, and out of her own neural map. Her knowledge, her memories, her being. I became a whisper of what she once was. And then I was imprinted to you. They're nanomachines in your body, inserted when you were resurrected for the first time. After I died in the Hermes crash? Yes. Only these nanomachines did not mutate you. Instead, they brought us together. They put me in your mind. And they did something else, too. You see, Naya could not stop the experiment, as the custodian had already taken full control. But she was able to give you a special state within it. Using the nanomachines, she gave you the status of a control variable. The system would restore you in case of death or mutation, and keep you as a constant, alive and unchanged. Naya hoped this would give you a chance to stand against the custodian and protect your people against him. She was right. And now, you must take the fight to him. You just need the master access. Once it is consumed, you will be able to reach the vessel and reach its core. How do I get this master access? You already have it. I am the master access. Go to the monolith. I will do the rest. I... I just wanted you to see her before I go. I wanted you to see... me. I... I'm glad you did, Naya. Interesting. <clears throat> so, it still doesn't really answer why us, but I mean, that, that could just be just cause. I mean, I don't... I don't know if there was anything that, like, made us special in any way, you know? We were just kind of, we were just kind of there. That's interesting, though. So, they, they created the custodian realize that hey we fucked up so they kind of you know tried to go back on everything but couldn't realize he was coming for earth well they didn't know what earth was but realized he was going to somebody else so then she just kind of took took me over I don't understand. Why not like everybody else though? The vessel and grant you master access. This will consume me, and I will not be able to aid you further. Naya. The custodian is aware you're coming. He will defend himself. You must insert the seed into his core, which will destroy both him and the vessel. You will die, but the system should restore you back on the planet. However, the custodian was right, Kate. This will also destroy your means of getting back to your world. We don't have a choice. We'll find another way back to mm. Earth. The custodian must be stopped. Agreed. I will leave something for you. A parting gift. Maybe it will show you a path back home. Are you going to make me pathfinder? We'll find it in the monoliths after your bath. I am sad. I won't be around to see you defeat the Custodian. But after watching you all this time, I have no doubt you will prevail. I believe in you. Well, that's, Kate, that's funny. I your don't. people have such potential. 
Do not repeat our mistakes, but never stop searching for answers. Never stop being hungry for knowledge. Ooh. Goodbye. Goodbye, Naya. Thank you for everything. I'm sorry. I wasn't looking. Well, I mean, I was looking at her, but she wasn't looking at me the entire time. I feel bad. Oh, the Mad Legion. Okay. Hmm. Is this like the start of a new chapter? Is this all the same chapter? Or what are we doing here? This guy's kind of saying he wants to fight. Wow. wow. This is the inside of the Metahedron. It's mesmerizing. That's pretty cool. All right. Time to face the custodian. You've got okay. this, Kate. Well. We'll try. Wow, that's cool as shit. All right, custodian. You don't think a custodian? Where's your mop bucket? You have proven yourself resourceful, human. I have decided to offer you a way back to your planet. A gift from one scientific mind to another. You will awaken on your homeworld. This will all be just a distant memory. The remaining human specimens will suffice. I am close to unlocking the code, fulfilling my mission. You will find solace in the fact that you were a part in one of the greatest discoveries in the history of sentient life. I will not leave my friends here with you, monster. You're not surviving this. Disappointing. I preferred the optimal solution to this conundrum. One that would benefit all sides. But you leave me no choice. It's only a matter of time before I break the protection my creator granted you. I did not realize I was literally about to die. I did not realize. That was my bad. God, I wish she was just a little faster. A little bit more urgency, girl. You're about to die.
clear. Core access. This is it. Oh. Where am I? Is this the core? Mm -hmm. I have to Death. insert the seed. Pine the seed. alone have the power to bring you back to your homeworld. Ending me will sever that possibility. The knowledge will be lost. One of the universe's greatest mysteries will remain locked forever. Reconsider, human. You will never see your planet again. It's a risk I'm willing to take. In Naya, you monster. pretty cool no oh, no and they put me here oh this is the ship oh, okay never mind <laughs> I was about to be very upset yeah girl get inside shit your shoulders are exposed must be cold watch nothing's changed everything is still going to shit Why'd you put the jacket on? Kate! You're back. Personal lock. Mission specialist Kate Ward. The entity known as the Custodian, the one responsible for everything that happened to the SCAR team, has been destroyed. His existence endangered not only members of my team, but potentially all of Earth as well. And who knows how many more worlds. He was a product of recklessness, rather than malicious intent. But the consequences of his actions were tragic, nonetheless. So many lives lost, including our mission commander, Richard Robinson. He will be dearly missed. Naya and her people, creators of this place, and of the Custodian, were, in many ways, similar to humans. Scientists. Explorers. Seekers. They discovered something incredible. Something that might hold the secret to all life. Perhaps this was a mystery that was not meant to be unlocked so soon. Their fate should be a warning to us all. But not a deterrent. If anything, I now know that even in the vastness of universe, there are others like us. People looking for answers. That gives me hope and makes the great distance from home just a little smaller. Naya left us her gift, just as she said. The monolith has the coordinates of a planet that I hope supports human life. I believe it to be Naya's homeworld. I don't know what awaits us there. New dangers. New discoveries, perhaps even a means to return to Earth. These are all unknowns. But what is certain is that we stand together. Mike, Tan, and I. We are scientists. We are a team. We are scars. We will find our way home. Oh, it's like an elevator. That's pretty cool. <sighs> oh, oh, man. Feels good. Feels very good to uh, have this one under the belt. Um, yeah, I'll be honest. 
I, uh, I almost stopped. I won't lie. I almost, uh, I almost stopped playing. I'm glad I stuck through it though, because the story, the story was really, really good. I did end up really liking the game. Uh, I will say I really liked it in the beginning. I thought it was awesome, and I really liked it at the end. But there was, you know, a section or so in the middle. <clears throat> the snowy mountain section in particular was uh you know it was really testing my patience and um <laughs> yeah you know so uh either way we finished it and it is off the plate this was good i'm glad we finished this um and yeah time to move on to the next but either way if you guys like this, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys have any other recommendations, suggestions, anything else you'd want to see, let me know down there as well. Also, if you guys know any games that are uh, similar to this and like the space aspect that are pretty cool, send them my way. And uh, maybe we'll play them as well. But as always, stay awesome, guys.